And you, we don't have no clue what that even means, but we'd be like, yes, hallelujah, praise the Lord. And we have no idea what that means. We just in there, clapping our hands, putting on the show. We got our big hats on, we got a nice soup on. And we say we got God in our heart. But we read not the Bible. Where's all the people that got God in their heart stopping to hear the word of God? I want you to hear this verse right quick. Read that again. I want the sister to hear this. I want you to tell me what you think this means. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, and verse 31. Envy thou not the oppressor, and choose none of his ways. He said, envy not the oppressor, and choose none of their ways. Who, who would be our oppressor, sis? Them other people. What other people? I call them the great people. The great people? Yeah. I call them rednecks. Right. Now, I call them red people. You understand? You call them great. So God said, don't envy them and choose none of their ways. What way you think you don't want us to choose that they follow? You know, a lot of their ways. All of their ways, right? Yeah. All of their ways. Let me ask you this right here. Who is this right here, sis? Who is that? Yeah. A picture of a man they made up. They made that man up. Well, that's a real man, though. That's a real man. You see right here? Mm -hmm. That's his real name. Okay. Caesar Borgia. Right, that's right. That was the son of the six Pope of Rome. And they said, you know what? Get that to the niggas. That's going to be their Christ. That's, right. That's going to be their Christ in the new world. And you know what? We got this in all our houses. We got it hanging around our neck. We got it tattooed on our arm. Not you. All praise to the Most High. So you, let me ask you, does Christ look like you? That's what my daddy told me. Yeah, hey, we're going to let the Bible tell you. Hey. Bring it up. <laughs> Bring it on. Like Your daddy had some wisdom. Right. He had some wisdom. But guess what? He didn't teach you the verse. So we're going to teach you the verse today. That's right. Read that. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 14. Bring it out. His head and his hairs were white like wool. His head and his hairs were white like wool. He did tell me that. So let me ask you, who got woolly hair on earth? We do. We do. Did Christ have it? According to that picture, yes. Say, you think Christ would say, you know what? I don't like this bully hair, I'm going to perm it up. <laughs> no, no. Because Christ loved what Most High gave him. Right. You understand? Most High gave him woolly hair. Guess what? Christ said, I'm going to rock this woolly hair. Right. You understand? His hair turned gray. Guess what? Christ said, I'm going to rock this gray hair. Right. You understand? But we'll sit there and choose all the ways of our oppressor. You understand? Because we hate one another. We hate who God created, and he created us to be above all people upon the face of the earth. That's right. right. You understand? And for some reason, our people act like that's a wrong message to teach our people. Give me that Deuteronomy 76. Matter of fact, hold up. Finish out oh, what Christ looked like. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, Ready? and his feet like unto fine brass. He said his feet like unto fine brass. Read. As if they burned in a furnace. Since if you burn anything, what color is it? Black. So Christ was a very dark-skinned black man with woolly hair, right? right? Yeah. Now, let me ask you something, sis. Did, did uh, your father teach you how to serve God correctly? Because, when you listen, he might have taught you that this wasn't Christ, right? But did he teach you how to serve God? Give me Sirach, um, third, two, three, four. Okay. Check this out. Do you know how to serve God correctly? You believe in God? Yes. You believe in Christ? Yes. Well, we got to find out how we're supposed to believe. Okay. Because we really, we, a lot of times our words just be a lot of talk. But we don't understand that this Bible is a book of instructions right. on how we're supposed to actually serve God right. and right. have faith in God and believe in God. We think we can close up the book and say, I believe. Right. We think we can close up the book and say, I got Christ in my heart. Right. Now, he put the book on earth for a reason. That's right. You understand? He said we destroy for the lack of knowledge. We can't get the knowledge of God with the book closed. 
Right. We got to actually open it up and start reading. And watch this, read. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 32 and verse 24. He that believeth in the Lord, take him heed to the commandment. He that believeth in the Lord, take heed to the commandments. You understand? So, what is a commandment? Something that you find. Something that God tells you to do right. or not do, right? Right, right, right. right. Mm -hmm. And so I read this one earlier. Can we go back to uh, Proverbs 3 31? Because right now, what you see our people, five people out here today, you know what that's called? Envying our oppressor. That's right. Say that again. We're envying our oppressor right now okay. by being out here today. Because if we believed in the Lord, we wouldn't be out here today. You understand? Watch this. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, and verse 31. If he thou not the oppressor, and choose none of his ways. He said, if he not the oppressor, and choose none of their ways. You understand? You know why he don't want us to follow their ways? Because they're not right. You're right. Their ways are not right. Well, we follow their ways, right? Yes, that's what we do. We talking. follow everything that they said in front of us. Mm -hmm. How's that benefited us? Not well at all. And I'm gonna tell you, not well at all. Not well at all. That's that's a really a light statement. Give me Hosea four one. I'm gonna yeah. show you what happens to us following their ways, because we don't realize we gotta stop following their ways. Right. We gotta take heed to the commandments, cause we say we what believe. That's right. But we don't we hear, we don't find out what the commandments are because we go to church on Sunday and he say, you say by the blood of Jesus. Right. And you, we don't have no clue what that even means, but we'd be like, yes, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Right. Right. And we have no idea what that means. Right. We just in there, clapping our hands, putting on the show. We got our big hats on, we got a nice suit on. And we go out and say, we feel good. That and we didn't learn nothing. And we say we got God in our heart. But we read not the Bible. Where's all the people that got God in their heart stopping to hear the word of God? Hey, brother, you believe in God? You with your wife, you believe in God? See what I mean? That's what I mean. That Bible's going to condemn them in that day when Christ returns. Watch this. Right. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 4 and verse 1. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. You hear what God is speaking to? Who? The children of who? Of Israel. Guess who we are? The children of Israel. Right. Check inside out. You'll see what tribe you come from. If your father was a so-called uh, Native American, I mean, um, a black man, that would mean you're from the tribe of Judah. Is that who your father is? Yes. That means you're from the tribe of Judah. These are the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. These are God's people. We don't follow the ways of the white man, and he gave us his name. What's your last name? McDuffie, Blueford McDuffie. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there was a McDuffie slave plantation somewhere around here. Yeah, you right. just don't know where it was at. But I guarantee you there was I'm one. Sure. And so he rebranded us because he didn't want you to be called a child of God. Right. He didn't want you to know who you are. He didn't want you to follow this book and be able to relate to it. If they put white images like this in the book, they put white images all throughout the earth, you wouldn't think that you have to follow the commandments. Right. You understand? You wouldn't know that God got a problem with you. You understand? Read again from the top. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. For the Lord has a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. He said, I got a problem with the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We're the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. He said, I got a problem with you. If God got a problem with you, you want to know what that problem is, don't you? Watch this. Because there is no tr no truth. Because there's what? No truth. No mercy. No knowledge of God in the land. He says there's no truth, no mercy, no knowledge of God in the land because we fall in all the ways of our oppressor. We're going to church on Sunday because the white men set that up. Right. We call ourselves Baptist because the white men set that up. Right. We call ourselves Protestant because the white men set that up. Right. We out here right now in the joyous Christmas spirit because the white men set that up. Right. You understand? Read it again from the top. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. For the Lord has a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. Because there is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of God in the land. Rick? By swearing, and lying, and killing, and stealing. Ain't that all the things that we do? 
we lie, we kill, we steal, we do all those evils, right? Because why? Our oppressor do it. They the wicked. We're following the ways of the wicked. If you're going to follow the wicked, you're going to be wicked. If you want to follow God, you're going to keep the laws and commandments. Right. But we don't know the laws and commandments. We only say it. We only talk a good game. We only sit there and say, I love God. But look, they'll cross the street all the way over there to keep from hearing the word of God. They'll walk all the way down the block to try to avoid the prophets. And then be in church on Sunday clapping. Our people are some liars. Read. And commit an adultery. They break out and blood touches blood. Now we got black on black crime because we don't know God and we don't have no love for one another because we don't know the truth of the Bible that we should be keeping God's laws. That's right. You understand? We don't know those things. And by us keeping God's laws, those laws, what's the wages of sin, sis? You know that? You ever heard that? The wages of sin is what? Sin. The wages of sin. The payment for committing sin. Money. Watch that. Romans 6 and 23. I'm going to show you right quick. Because there's a payment for committing sin. You know, just like if you went to your job, you put in them 40 hours of work, you're going to get you a nice paycheck, right? God said you commit sin, you go against the things I command, because sin is the breaking of the commandments. He said there's going to be a price for committing sin. Watch what he said is. This is the book of Romans, chapter 6 and verse 23. For the wages of sin is death. For the payment for committing sin is what? Is death. Is death. So the payment for committing sin is death. That's the payment. And so I'm going to ask you, do you want to be put to death? I'm going to give you a simple law that you can come out of, sis. A simple sin you can come out of. Because you love God? Yes. You love Christ? Before I, I'm going to show you some love right quick. I'm going to show you what it means to love Christ. Give me John 14 and 15. Hold that and give me John 14 and 15. Because we never understood what love is. Remember, if we wasn't taught the Bible, he says there's no truth, no mercy, no knowledge of God. So we don't really have the truth of what love is. This is what love is according to the Bible. This is the book of John, chapter 14 and verse 15. If ye love me, keep my commandments. Keep those commandments that I gave you to follow. Here's a commandment that God gave our women to follow because he said you are princes on this earth. Right. Now as a princess on this earth, shouldn't you act like a princess on this earth? Yes. He said, guess what? He created us to be the gods on this earth. That's the black right. men need to come back and act like a god. That's Stop right. acting like a nigga on this earth, getting high, getting blazed, running around, knocking up women all over the place. Right. If God created you to be a god, be a god. Right. Take care of your family. Raise your children. That's marry right. the women. Right. We got to step up and be men. Right. Right. You understand? But guess what? Our women got to step up too. Right. It's a That's role for right. them. So listen. God said you a princess, he wants you to dress like one. You Watch this. You got to have respect for yourself. You got to have respect for your maker. Mm -hmm. But guess what? Your maker gave you a dress code. So let's see if you love God. Because he yeah. said try the spirit. So you got to say, you know what? When I hear this commandment, if I love God, I'm going to follow it. But if I don't follow it, what's the opposite of love? Hate. Watch this. And that is tell you where you want to follow. Because the white man is the one that told our people they ain't got to follow God. Watch this. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Said a woman shouldn't wear that which pertaineth. Well, I see the look on your face. Right now, I saw it. <laughs> Tell me, sis, what is that he talking about? My clothing. What, what, what are you saying you shouldn't wear what? Pants. pants. Hallelujah, sis. You know what? You know how many women struggle with that thing right now? Watch this. Finish it. I want to hear what he say. No. Watch this. Watch this. Your ride can wait because you know. Watch this. Watch this, sis. I want you to hear it. This is why. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. You agree that if any man was out here wearing a dress, we ain't getting into the kingdom. So guess what? A woman wearing pants ain't getting there either. Why? For all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. What day you going to visit? I don't know, but I'm... Guess what the day is, sis? Today's Saturday. That's the Sabbath of the Lord. Right. right. That's the day you're supposed to fellowship. That's not right. Not Sunday. Guess who fellowshipping on Sunday? Everybody that love white Jesus. Yeah, Guess right. what? You love the black Messiah? Well, guess what? We're getting ready to go in a few seconds. We finna head straight over to the school. And that, that way you continue your learning. Yes, Change sir. your day. Hey, you know how most I said, choose you to this day whom you're going to serve? Well, you heard the word of the Lord today.
nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is you.